Hello, in this video, I will show you how you can connect your Titan mailbox with your Gmail or Outlook account. Similarly, you can follow the same steps in order to connect any sort of mail accounts, whether you have in your Roundcube or other uh, web hosting email services. So in my case, I am using Titan. So I will show you how you can connect uh, your Titan mailing account with your Gmail so you can manage all your email accounts at one place. So first of all, you have to log in with your email account. So in my case, I'm logging with this one. After this, on the top right, you have the settings icon. Click on that icon and select configure third-party apps. After that, you have to just scroll down and you have to use this configure using pop. So let me show you. Uh, now you have to go to your Gmail account in which you want to link your Titan with your Gmail uh, directory. So now from the settings on the top right, you can see this gear icon settings. Click on that icon and click on see all settings. After that, go to accounts and import. But before doing that, just make sure if you go to forwarding and pop IMAP, your pop should be enabled and your IMAP should be enabled as well. So you have to click enable IMAP and enable pop and then click on save changes in case if these two options are disabled on your Gmail account. Now go back to accounts and import. Now, as you can see, I already have this email uh, attached with my Gmail account. Now I want to attach this one contact at nabilasis.com so I can simply click on add a mail account. Here I have to write my uh, email address. In your case, you can simply write your one. Click on next. Import emails from my other account, pop3, click next. And the username same, write the same uh, as email address we have written above. Or you can just change uh, this thing as well as per your own requirement, but I will prefer you to just use the same context as the email address. So in the username, you will write your email address and in the password, you will write your mailing server password that you are using. Okay, so now in the pop server, as you can see in our Titan settings, we have incoming server of pop dot titan dot email so we have to use the same settings our incoming server is pop dot titan dot email so let me open that so our incoming server should be pop dot titan dot email and our port is 995 so we will select our port uh, so our port is 995 so we will select 995 from here and we have to check these options leave a copy of retrieve message on the server check this option always use a secure connection check this option as well in case you are using a ssl certificate on your domain and label incoming messages so must check these three options because these three options are good for the security purposes because if you skip a message so a copy of your inbox or your message should be available on your main mailing server so you can see and uh, read them at any time so you can just check these three options then click on add account yes i want to able to send now you have to select this option as well yes i want to able to send mail as contact at nabilasis.com click next then here simply just write contact at nabilaziz.com in your case you will be using definitely your own email address click next then smtp server in smtp you can check you have to write smtp.titan.email and our port is 465 so here we will write uh, smtp.titan.email and our port should be 465 in the username we will write contact at 
nebulasis.com and the password we will write our mailing server password we have to select secure connection using ssl sometimes it doesn't work then in the second case you should use secure connection using tls but in that case when you are using tls you have to select 587 but if you are using ssl you have to use 465 click add account now it will check your credentials and it's successfully connected as you can see congratulations we successfully located your other server and verified your credentials just one more step an email with the confirmation link was sent to contact at nabilaziz.com to add your email address click on the link in the confirmation email now you have to check uh if i click on check mail now here it's checking email on this one if i go to my inbox so you can see i received a new email on my contact so that's basically a tag tag which indicates that i received that email on contact at nabilaziz.com and i have to open that email and click on that link so google can verify that we added this email on our own so please confirm sending mail as contact we have to click on confirm that's an important step if you skip that step you won't be able to send emails from your attached mailing account so that's important that's it now if i refresh my gmail and if i click on compose so now it will give me an option for sending emails from these three accounts like i just attached this one so i can either send emails from using contact at nebulasis.com i can use my mail gmail one and similarly i can use the other accounts that i attached with my this gmail server so that's how you can simply just connect your account any third party uh, mailing account with your gmail so yeah i hope that's clear and if there's any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much take care bye